The MailChimp Lists module, which is one of the sub-modules of the main MailChimp project, provides integration with the Views Bulk Operations module, another contributed module, that can be used to allow site administrators to create a view and then use the contents of that view to create a new segment for a list in MailChimp. This is pretty cool because there are a lot of things that Drupal knows about your users that MailChimp doesn't, so we can begin to create list segments that might otherwise be impossible to generate. In this tutorial, we'll install the Views Bulk Operations module and its dependencies, and then we'll use it to create a view of users on our site that can be filtered based on the user role using an exposed filter. Finally, with the Views Bulk Operations integration, we can use that view and that filter to create a new segment in our MailChimp mailing list for just users that are in a specific role on our site, like administrators, for example. I'm assuming that you've already got some familiarity with views. We're gonna be building a view with an exposed filter and walking through that process really quick. If you've not used views before, you'll probably wanna take some time to brush up on the views module before continuing with this particular tutorial. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to create a new list segment in MailChimp based on the content of a view in Drupal. So the first thing that we're going to need to do to get all of this working is install the Views Bulk Operations module, or VBO for short. If you've never used it before, the Views Bulk Operations module works in conjunction with the Views module to allow you to take a list of items from Views and apply some action to every item in that list. In our case, that action is going to be take this row from the list and subscribe it to a particular mailing list or a segment of a mailing list. But we need to start by installing the Views Bulk Operations module and its dependencies. Its dependencies are the Views module and the CTools module. So let's go ahead and take care of that. I'm just going to install these real quick with Drush. So I'm going to do Drush DL Views and Views Bulk Operations, Operations, and CTools. So these are the three modules that we need to download. So I'll go ahead and download all of those. You can find links for these modules to download them in the notes for this video. Once they're downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and enable the Views Bulk Operations module. So let's switch over to our site. Back on my Drupal site, I'm going to go to the Modules tab, and then I'm going to scroll down all the way to the bottom of the list, basically. And under the Views section, I'm going to say enable the Views Bulk Operations module and the Views UI, because of course we'll need the user interface to build our view. And then go ahead and save that, and then continue. Now I'm going to create a new view. So I'm going to go to Structure, Views, and then Add New View. I'm going to walk through this relatively quickly. I'm assuming that people have done this before. Uh, we'll call this view a People Finder. And it's going to show a list of users, because users are the thing in our case that have a MailChimp lists field attached to them. So a list of users. It doesn't matter how it's sorted, really, so we'll just say unsorted. We'll create a page. We're going to make this page live at, we'll make it at admin slash people slash find. We'll have it listed as a table. And 10 items per page is fine. Create a menu link. We'll put that into the management menu and we'll call it people finder like so. And then I'm going to continue and edit. So we've now got a view that allows us to list all of the people or uh, user accounts on our site. A couple of administrative things to be aware of when you're creating this view. First of all, I would definitely make sure that you set permissions on this because this is something that will allow people to subscribe users or manage your MailChimp list. And you don't want just anyone to do that. I'm going to say only people with the administer MailChimp permission have access to view this particular view. So that will limit it to, in our case, just administrators. So that should work. And then under menu, I'm actually going to change this to be a menu tab instead of a menu normal item, uh, like so. That'll allow it to show up as a tab under the existing people menu. OK, so now the fun stuff. Under fields, let's go ahead and add a new field. And we're going to filter the list to show us only the field provided by views bulk operations, which you've just got this one, bulk operations for users because we're building a list of users. So I'll choose that and click apply. Now what I can do is under the bulk operations settings here, I can select what 
action or actions do you want someone to be able to take for each user listed in this view? And I'm going to choose this one right here at the top. I would like them to be able to choose the Add to MailChimp Lists segment. This is the functionality that's provided by the MailChimp module. There's some additional settings here. Would you like to queue the operation instead of executing it immediately? Basically, if I've got a lot of users that I'm going to subscribe to a segment, I might want to queue this so that it gets built up into a queue and then Drupal can process that queue on cron. In our case, we've only got like 20 users on our site, so I'm just going to let it happen immediately. Do you want to allow views bulk operation to skip the confirmation? No, I'm not going to do that. Do you want to change the label for this? No, I'm fine with the add MailChimp list segment label. I have to choose which field on the entity in question is representative of a subscription to a MailChimp list. So this is the MailChimp lists field that we applied to a user entity in an earlier tutorial. So like that. And then let's see. I believe that's it settings wise. Let's look at the bulk operation settings real quick. Yeah, that should be fine for our particular use case. So we're just enabling the add to MailChimp list segment functionality provided by the MailChimp module. And we're choosing the one field that we've got configured, which basically says use the email address for a user entity as the address to put into MailChimp. And we'll say apply that to all displays. I'm also going to add a filter criteria here. So we said that we wanted to be able to filter the list based on user roles. So I'll narrow this down to user and find the roles option like so. I'm going to say apply this filter to all displays. We'll go ahead and expose this filter so that people can change it as necessary. Everything else I'm just going to leave as is. So apply all displays. So now we've got a view that is a table display that lists users, is located at admin slash people slash find looks like this below. It has these two fields, the user's name and the bulk operations field. I'll go ahead and rearrange these just to make it a little more user friendly. The bulk operations field, which is represented as this checkbox in the UI, but what that one will allow us to do is perform any one of these operations listed and we configured the add to MailChimp list segment operation. Awesome. I'm going to save that. So now if I go and view that view that we just created, our people finder here, I can say, let's narrow this down to a list of users that are in the administrator role. So I'll hit apply. There's one user on our site that is in the administrator role. Let's do, in order to make this more meaningful, I'm going to quickly add another user to the administrator role. So I'm going to go to people and I'll find a couple of people in this list and I'll say add role administrator to those users. Now, if I go back to our people finder and filter it to just the administrator role, now there's three users here. So this should end up with a segment of our MailChimp mailing list that has just these three users in it when we're all done. I'm going to click the checkbox to select all here, and then I'm going to choose my operation from the views bulk operations dropdown. This is our add to MailChimp segment operation. Click execute. It asks me to choose which MailChimp list is this segment going to apply to. In this case, I want to create a new segment. So it's going to apply to our subscriptions field, which in our case, the way we have it set up maps to the weekly newsletter field in MailChimp. I'm going to create a new segment. The name for our segment is going to be administrators. If I click next, it's saying this is the confirmation step that we could have optionally skipped, but it's saying these three people are going to have an operation performed on them. I can go ahead and click confirm. The views bulk operations module does its thing, performs the action of creating a new segment in MailChimp and subscribing everyone to it. Now when I switch over to MailChimp at admin.mailchimp.com, I can go to lists. I can choose the weekly newsletter list. And if I go to the manage subscribers tab and choose segments, you can see I've now got a new administrators segment. And if I click on that, I see the people from the list that were added to that segment. You'll notice that actually only one account was added here. The reason for that is that the accounts generated with Devel Generate, so the users, the dummy users on our site, actually have invalid email addresses, so they didn't get imported into MailChimp. But you get the idea of how that would work. So in this tutorial, we installed the views bulk operations module and its dependencies, and then created a new view of users on our site with the ability to filter that view to those users that are just in a specific role. 
Then we use the Views Bulk Operations module's MailChimp integration to create a new MailChimp segment based on whatever we filtered our view down to. In our case, we filtered it down to a list of just people that were in the administrator role and then applied the Views Bulk Operations action to them and created a new list named Administrators. And everything worked out great. Now, we can email or send an, a campaign to just the administrators of our site. 